Hi everyone, my name is Nitin and I'm Senior Manager Operations at RIC School of Built Environment. And uh, like before, I am here again with uh, one of our professionals and alumni of RICS, a member of ROAR uh, with you. And uh, we are going to talk about uh, her experience and journey throughout so that you know we can learn from her experiences. Uh, we have with us Karas Karishma Chaurasia from uh, 2019 batch. She's a uh, RUI graduate. Welcome, Karishma. Hey, hi. Thanks, Nitin. Thanks, Nitin, for the grand welcome. So, uh, Karishma, uh, these, this is a kind of series of, uh, you know, uh, discussion and dialogue which we do with our alumni so that we can actually gain from their experiences uh, in terms of, you know, what their learnings, key challenges and uh, the journey has been. So for our audience, audience can you please uh, brief us about your uh, background, probably your journey from your school, uh, which is School of Built Environment, to, to where you are currently in the profession? So, uh, uh, hi guys, uh, my name is Karishma, as you know, like Nitin introduced it very nicely, that's one. And uh, I'm an architect from my graduate and uh, later on I did my MBA in real estate from RICS. Throughout uh, the RICS course of mine, I have uh, worked with Anna Rock Properties as a part of my internship, that is in Noida. And after that, like uh, as a college placement, I got into DLF group where I got the opportunity to work with, uh, you know, DLF Cyber City Chennai, uh, that is uh, a 7.2 million square feet of project. After that, like it's been a tenure of two years, I've like switched to a uh, brigade group that is brigade group in Bangalore, where I'm right now into 3 million square feet of ACZ commercial leasing project. Good. Again, uh, moving in from south to south, down south. So uh, you have been into commercial, uh, you know, uh, throughout. Uh, can you help us understand what's what are your roles and responsibilities during during your you know uh, period of experience? Or probably you, you can talk about your day at work, uh, you know, in a normal course of life. So uh, when I talk about as my static journey, uh, I like to take you all towards like you know uh, from DLF to uh, moving my career towards brigade. So as a as a beginner, you know, I never thought of of this thing that whenever I go to any organization, so should I think like of a, how many hours should I work? What will be my salary? What will be my package? No, at least like these are the questions. You know, every person is having a doubt. You know, even I do have. But frankly speaking, this is not the concern should be in anybody's mind, uh, mind in the initial stages. So uh, started with DLF. Uh, there was my like from morning to evening. It was a 9.30 to, you know, 7.30 of job. But I do prefer myself, you know, working till long hours. Why? Right? Because, uh, you know, uh, moving from one city to another, you don't have any, you know, major things to do. And at that time, your job is the major concern, okay, where you can grow, you know. So it's not about like sitting in office, working late hours with your team, a good interaction. Actually, it takes you to the long in managing, you know, uh, the whole environment as well a good discussion with your team members you know it, it it shows the team management how it is inside you so it was a great journey of mine in the two years of dlf tenure where i was uh, totally dedicated to uh, towards my towards my uh, career there and thereafter uh, recently like one month ago i have joined in 2021 um, uh, with brigade group uh, in bangalore where i am to taking uh, care for the commercial sales and leasing department, the same what I used to take care uh, into DLF, where there was my role as a business development into leasing, where you have to, you know, uh, like uh, keep tap on the market, how the market is performing. And then you have to go ahead with the clientele you are approaching and how you take it forward. Being an SEZ campus, SEZ uh, uh, like is was, uh, is was always there into my portfolio F, as you have seen. So right now into Brigade also, I'm just taking care of 3 million square feet of SEZ sales and leasing. Let's see how it go forward. Good, nice to hear that. And again, you know, uh, it might require a lot of, uh, you know, uh, skills there. You know, you talked about research, you talked about, uh, you know, these million uh, square feet. You might have to, you know, go on, on to the rounds, try and, you know, work it out with the individual staff, uh, probably client meetings. So uh, could you talk about what are the key skills uh, which are key in your role? And if a person is looking for uh, building their career in the similar profile, 
what all they should focus on uh nitin the first prior thing and i would like to tell you everybody like you should have the uh, like uh, attitude inside yourself how to be polite and how to take the things little forward ahead keep forget about everything whatever comes to you your team members that something forget that everything just move ahead whatever you are saying whatever you are doing that makes a sense that you have the leadership quality to take it further show your leadership skills and that was always i have been you know get uh, like taught from my uh, mentor my, uh, mrs anandita anandita sarkar she always uh, have uh, like uh, built this kind of thing inside our when, uh, during our study time that how a leadership things can you know take you forward towards your career right so my superiority sub one one thing was always there in dlf and right now in brigade also take leadership for everything you can be a good initiator and can be a good taker throughout a long but you know taking a leadership is always that matters and take you in the front edge one more thing want to mention here i want want to thank my all the mentors who have so far guided it uh, guided me throughout my career my uh, my office tenure you know i came here who have supported throughout in my journey and you know what the humbleness always you know appreciated in that way what they have shown towards me you know i would like to take the name of few people mr amit grover who was the like uh, executive director uh, of dlf um he is one of the key factor like uh, i'm really thankful for him to uh, you know support in my career and uh, give me the opportunity to explore whatever the key features where i am having the expertise in okay i would like to thank mr amit singhal who's the mrics uh, he was my uh, one of the mentor who have guided me throughout my journey and have the faith on me that yes i can do this i can do this right i would like to thank uh, to all the rics faculties of mine uh, shit prasad sir who have made me very strong into valuations and you know have always guided me wherever i do mistakes always supported me no you are doing wrong i on i want to thank mr tribhuvan prasad who have just guided me for you know into strategy planning because we were mm-hmm. not, not able to know anything how to take it further you know so thank you everybody for for so far in my journey thank you so much appreciate your you know uh, your uh, gratitude toward the faculty members and again uh, there have been you know multiple of um, uh, those those kind of individuals at various stages of our life who have groomed us so uh, g- good to see that you know that piece of gratitude coming coming from you so uh, you know uh, with within your experience of uh, these many years uh, there have been some you know uh, you know upturns and downturns so could you also talk about what have been your uh, you know key learning areas uh, or experiences probably you can quote certain examples wherein you had an opportunity of uh, you know learning which you can share with our audience anitin i would like to talk about here and uh, want to share my experience with all the audiences over here during the initial time i was uh, uh, you know coming from a, you know doing a, a sales analyst into residential background and coming to a completely into le- uh, commercial leasing it's all together a different entity if you see on both ends correct so but uh, you know starting the things towards understanding the market you know what are the rentals are going on how what kind of clientele you are having in which micro market it's very specific thing and that the same approach you follow in uh, residential as well and the same approach you follow in commercial as well it's it's only the thing that the uh, customer will going to be changed there uh, you target as like a daily household people right like where your family can be the part of in the residential and mm-hmm. here in commercial where you have to talk with the corporate client that we are part of like you know big top companies ac- across globe so uh, yeah there is two differences uh, what i have seen and what uh, made me to grow forward in my career that is when you talk to corporates right it would be very uh, you know straight what you are asking for that has to be there right how the corporate are placed how, what are their strategies of taking their business go growing forward which micro market as i mentioned where they are located right so these are the point where i used to in the beginning of my career you know jotted down where are their headquarters located what kind of business they are working into right and that actually took me towards like okay fine i can uh, tap onto this company this company is looking for this this mil- million of square feet okay fine this is the probable good solution what i i can offer to my client correct so if your background research background database is not as 
as built right you can't you know go and have the you know leverage to talk with your client hey what are you looking for can i able to cater your requirement like that right that's again a wonderful wonderful piece of you know uh, thought or experience sharing because you know that's that's a very very uh, a key area that you know you need to do your homework all the research and you have to have key speaking points so as to you know uh, build up that conversation with the client and win that kind of uh, probably you know uh, arrangement so that you can get a deal for your organization and and uh, you know get get forward with that so uh, nice to hear that uh, on your experience front now uh, while uh, you have been into this role i i wanted to talk about uh, was it a choice that you uh, you know uh, thought commercial leasing as as your uh, you know pathway for for career or uh, it, it just happened by through the placement or this was the you know opportunity that you get in so uh, what i'm trying to ask here is that uh, uh, being a civil engineer sorry being an architect did you had this uh, thought in my mind that this is a direction uh, my career needs to take take uh, forward or uh, it it happened by by you know the as as the opportunity came in uh, to answer your question uh, i would like to take you from the background of out of it like why i am into leasing okay being an into mm-hmm. architect profile why i have gone into this so from the early stages of my career only when i was uh, like in this architectural internships and all that i always wanted to be on the you know front edge want to lead the things you know want to talk directly with the client right so um, on the initial stages you will not get uh, i understand uh, looking at these things like how the things are going outside uh you might have not got that uh, like you know uh, advantage or opportunity you can say but throughout the things you have to decide what you want to do down the line so there i thought like i have i am a person who is also made up of, apart from designing that is mb into real estate right where if, if mba student is getting the leverage to you know come forward and talk to people so i'm always having this kind of you know a kind of trait inside me i always want to be showcase my thing i want to talk a lot so where communication plays into action you always want to be into that field which can you know take you up rather than you don't right. work towards it a lot you don't want to you know like uh, give a 100 percent towards it to identify what exactly takes you a little further and then take it as a career to grow i found it while working in as as a sales analyst into a uh, residential for anarak i i i determined myself no actually i can have a you know better communication with the people i can negotiate it well i can communicate well i can make them okay fine this if not this project why this project okay so from there the things got built up and from there i switched from residential to commercial leasing and there i switched to all my clients as well and then i realized it's a normal talking where you ha- have to showcase the positivity inside your product okay if you are positive you can make others also to feel positive about your product that's what i did so far right and only the product is changed that's totally on to you how you take your mm-hmm. product and present it in front of client right so this is what my right was. thank you very well brought forward actually you know you you uh, made me recall the movie three idiots again you are mapping your key skills with the, or probably the passion with your career and again mixing that well is something that you are uh, being at the right place uh, and you know you usually you, you really don't feel uh, the job as as a work it's, it's a part of your life that way so uh, well uh, it was uh, you know hell uh, a, a hell amount of, a big amount of experience that that have been uh, you know uh, uh we have we have been able to call out during this kind of discussion one last uh, piece of uh, you know advice i would uh, seek for our uh, students who would be graduating probably this year or probably who might have already graduated what is the piece of advice that you may want to give them in terms of uh, you know career growth and uh, uh, seeking opportunities uh for the students who are right now pursuing into our uh, our ICS and who are like about to graduate from our ICS there's one a piece of advice what i want to give i know um, like people are very concerned as i mentioned in the starting of my you know uh, like speech that we are very concerned about job where we'll get it how much package we'll get it and all that but frankly speaking you guys like ICS is a platform just because of the name you're getting the things in the market believe me if you having the potential you are having the name of rics you can do anything outside rics 
And the second thing, don't be very concerned about how much package you are getting placed. Down the line, you can grow. You can grow. And you know what? I'm not saying it will take nine or 10 years to grow. No, within two years, you can prove yourself in the market because uh, RXCS is giving you the platform on the global level. So I would like to suggest everybody stop being very concerned about what will happen to me and my career. Okay, after our ICS, uh, if the market is not performing, market is not good and all that, just forget about it. Just start doing what exactly make your interest grow. If you're having interest into sales, if you like to talk with people, go into sales, try to come forward and take an initiative, go into it. If you like to put your thoughts into something, go into strategy planning. If you like to be into kind of a construction and all that, choose your line as per that. So I would always suggest listen to your mind, what it is allowing you that, yeah, this can be a best suited, a fitted thing for you. And then go ahead. Sure, very well said and nothing best could have been, you know, offered at the moment and uh, believe in yourself and uh, go with the passion or the skills or the, or the experience that you may have and uh, sooner or later the things will work in the in your direction is is uh, what has been uh, you know recommended by karishma thank you very much for being with us today and it was a very nice piece of advice and uh, listening to you today thank you so much